If you are worried about what a recession may mean to mortgage rates or perhaps a housing bubble, then know that this video is for you. Vacancy rates, as you can see from the early 80s for about 20, 25 years, stayed relatively stable for both homeowner and rental vacancies. Then back when the housing market got hot, people started buying speculatively and it was easy to buy then. After all, for any of you who have made purchase property at that time, do you remember what the mortgage application looked like? Essentially fog up a mirror and you're approved. You got a pulse, you get a loan. Yeah, no income, no asset, no job, no down payment, 580 credit score. What could go wrong with those loans? In fact, if you recall the movie The Big Short, when they went to the Golden Bar and they asked a go-go dancer, hey, do you own any real estate? And what was their response? I got five homes and a condo. This is essentially what was going on back then, except people weren't buying homes to live in, they were buying homes to try and flip and make a quick buck. And if you look at the vacancy rates, they skyrocketed. Today, what do you see? People are buying homes to live in and people are buying homes to rent out with renters occupying them. The vacancy rates are not just low, they are at all time lows. Think about that. You cannot have a housing bubble with low vacancy rates.